Amir. Huh? Okay, this is what we are learning, going to learn very soon, inshallah. We, you know, in the past we said, when the <coughs> pronoun is attached to noun, we get mudaf mudafili. When the pronoun is attached to preposition, we get char majur. And when the pronoun is attached to zarf, we get zarf and mudafili. When the pronoun is attached to verb, what is it? When the pronoun is attached to verb, what do we get? That verb becomes object. Are you with me? That becomes object. What do you call that? Mafulun bihi. This is coming in lesson 5, book 2. Okay? And it is, book 2 is going to be very interesting. Very, very interesting. Huh? So, nohibbu hu, nohibbu we love, love whom, whom do you love, who, so who is your maful, but then, don't worry, huh? because I will explain you in detail many things, and it will become so interesting inshallah, and so very easy, okay, but then what is this kathiran, is it dun, dun, din, it is dun, what is din, what is done? Mafulun mutlak. This is mafulun mutlak. But then you will not appreciate or understand this kathiran now. But once you go deep into mafulun mutlak, you will love this concept. This is a very special concept in Arabic language. You know, it's so beautiful, brother. And it comes in the Quran all the time. So we will do it, inshallah. So far so good, brothers and sisters, inshallah. When the pronoun joins, you are very clear. Huh? No, no, no garbar there. Huh? It's all very clear. Huh? Okay. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get charun wa majroorun when the pronoun joins a zarf. We get zarf and mudafilehi. In book two, you, you won't hear from me this. <laughs> it is over. It is only related to book one. Huh? Okay. Ajib anil as'ilati l'atiyati. Answer the following question. Al as'ilatu, what is al as'ilatu, what is the singular, Sister Salma? Al as'ilatu, su'alun, su'alun is the singular. Huh? Very good. Aina hadhi al madrasatu. Where is this school? What will you say? From the jum, from the Darsa, he uh, yeah. karibatun. Are you see with me? Minal masjidi. Uh, you will write it, inshallah. Okay. Yesterday I was, uh, you know, thinking. I always emphasize, brother, write, write. Do your homework, you know. So then I realized I used to say in my different class something else, you know. Uh, I had heard this song long time ago. I only remember one thing, you know. And then I made up my own things out of it, you know. You, have you heard the word jogi? Huh? Sister Memuna, jogi? You haven't heard the word? It's very popular word. In India, Pakistan, especially in Hindu religion, there are jogis. Huh? J-O-G-I. Huh? Jogi. These are the people who renounce the world. They got nothing to do with the world. Huh? They go in the forest and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? They, they, they don't have any concern with the world. They renounce it. But when they get hungry, what, they have, what happens? Then they go from door to door and beg for food. But they don't want to work. 
They don't want to, don't want to earn. They want to just pray. Okay, this is not allowed in Islam. Huh? We have to lead our normal life. We have to earn our bread and butter. We have to marry, have children, look after our families. But they just go in the forest and then they pray, they say. So their dresses are different. They, their outlook is different. And they have a little thing, you know, and then they go from door to door to back food, you know. But they are very popular in, in uh, literally works and in their concept, you know. So there was, there was this little uh, uh, song, you know. Ji me aata hai ke jogi banu. What is the meaning? Ji me aata hai. I feel in my heart that I must become a jogi. You know, renounce the world, go in the forest and pray day and night, you know. But then he realizes, what about my food? Then he says, Dar badar mujh se phira hai jata nahi. I cannot go door to door and beg food. Huh? This, I can't do it. So therefore, I cannot become a jogi. So I change it into my own thing, you know. Ji me aata hai ke mein arbi sikhun. Are you with me? <laughs> I feel that I must learn Arabic. Okay. Ji me aata hai ke mein arbi sikhun. Then, then I scratch my head. <laughs> Homework mujh. Se kiya hai jata nahi. <laughs> what is my problem? <laughs> I can't do homework. But then how will you learn Arabic? Are you with me? Ji me aata hai ke mein arbi sikhun. Homework mujh se kiya hai jata nahi. So this is our <laughs> problem. But, uh, but I think... We are not going to be, become like that person. We are going to do our homework, inshallah. Huh? Because no pain, no gain, brother. We cannot fool ourselves. Okay, brothers. Aina hadhil madrasatu hiya karibatun min al masjidi. Kam baban laha. So you will be, bring laha in the beginning. Kam baban laha. Laha Salasatu Abwa Bin. Beautiful exercise with answers coming from the book, and it will give you immense pleasure, inshallah. Mughalakatun 